What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Sci-Fi Bookery. I bought a uh, a book lot on eBay, and then I also have some stuff from thrift stores. So I wanted to kind of do a little haul video of things that I got recently. Um, a lot of this stuff is going to be for sale up in my Pango bookstore. Um, also, eBay, Etsy. I'll put links down below of where everything is. And then I have some that I'm going to keep because that's the reason why I buy these lots of books. There's some stuff I'm not super interested in. And there's other stuff that I enjoy. So I'm really into like the vintage sci-fi um, 40s, 50s, 60s kind of stuff. Um, not huge into the space opera things, but kind of into, I'm more into like the dystopian alien kind of future terraforming type deals. Um, so a lot of that is what I'm keeping. And there's also a couple authors that I've been wanting to check out that I found in that lot too. So I'm like, hey, let's go. So... I'm going to show off some of these books here now, and a lot of these are already in my Pango bookstore. Uh, link is down below if you want them, and the rest of them will be shortly if they're not already. <clears throat> this one is uh, one of the Richard Blade books by Jeffrey Lord, Wizards of Rentoro. Um, this is one of those Dimension 10 books, Dictator of Evil, but it's just so so cool and vintage -y. Um A lot of high fantasy in this, or not high fan, low fantasy, I should say. It's not like dragons and wizards and stuff. It's more like, you know, cat, lizard, pirates. I don't know. This is Pirates of Go Gohar. Yeah. So anyways, Jeffrey Lord doing Richard Blade. So those are pretty cool. Um, I got a couple of Nancy Springer books here. Again, like I said, I'm not super into fantasy. So Nancy Springer is full on high fantasy, dragons, knights wizards princesses all that stuff this is a collection of short stories called chance and other gestures of the hand of fate um it's highly regarded as some of her best stuff in there uh here's another nancy springer one which i've never heard of but it's called the white heart and check out this cover so you got the dragon and like the knight on the front with the sword and then you flip it over and there's the white stag with the is that a cardinal no it's like a red hawk or something that is cool. It's cool wraparound cover. Um, but this one is up too on Pango Books. And then we have a couple here from Ari McAvoy. Matt McAvoy, sorry. McAvoy. And um, that's Damiano and Damiano's Loot. Uh, these are also, you know, high fantasy stuff. These are two of the trilogy. There's a third one as well. But these are up uh, separately on Pango Books. So if you need separate ones. Um, and here's some that I got from a thrift store just today, actually. This looked super cool. The Fantastic Civil War. Um, it turns out this is actually a relatively rare book, and it's a first printing. So I had no idea when I picked it up. I just saw the, you know, Union and Confederate soldiers with the spaceship behind them. It's a sci-fi retelling of the Civil War. And it just looked super fun um i am go i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna try to read it you know give it a shot see how it is um it's a rather thick book um but i'm gonna get into it digging i love to read so um th things lose my interest easily though if it's weird um or if it's not you know i love weird stuff if it's not you know my kind of weird <laughs> it loses my interest a little bit i'm not super into war books but this looks like something I could get into. So uh, this will also be up on Pango Books. I usually list everything even while I'm reading it. And, you know, unless it's something I really desperately want to read. But anyways, that's one of them. Uh, this looks really cool. This is Sassanac. And um, it's like this cool, like, warrior chick on the front. Um, this is Anne McAfee who I, or McCaffrey, who I've, I've heard of before. Elizabeth Moon, I have not heard of before. Um, so I don't know. It just looked kind of cool. Space war sort of deal. Thought somebody would be into it. This will be up on Pango Books. And I always love to pick up Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, the novels, though, not, not super into it. Um, I'm not even into the Disney stuff. I'm just like classic Star Wars I'll do the prequels, maybe a couple of the sequels, but mostly just real Star Wars. Um, but the books are, I mean, Disney has renounced all of the comics and the books as non-canon. So now these aren't even in print anymore. 
So I really like to find them. And my favorite ship, the Millennium Falcon, is on the back of this one. I might actually give this one a read because I do like some of them. I'm not like, I'm like super into it. Like I, you know, it's not a super page turner for me. They're usually very um, commonly written, I like to say. Like it's, um, it's not amazing writing. It's, it's more just general storytelling. But anyways, that'll be up on the Pango bookstore. And now into the stuff that I got to keep. Um, these are a couple authors I wanted to read more of. Um, some of them I've, I've never read anything from. And I just thought this would be a good opportunity to, to do that. So this is uh, Gregory Benford, Heart of the Comet. Um, this is a big book. This is, um, I've heard good things about it. So I wanted to check it out. And that cover is just like straight up 70s, 80s kind of looking thing. Um, but it looks it looks cool. Like it, it sounds like um, something that I might get into. Uh, this one though, like these next few were absolutely what sold the lot for me. This is Against Infinity, again from Gregory Benford. But that cover is like, like you can tell sci-fi by the cover. Like you tell this is going to be like a campy kind of weird thing. Like look at that guy. I love it. So you could definitely tell by the cover on a lot of sci-fi stuff. Uh, Nitrogen Fix by Al Clement. This is one that I've been wanting to read. And um, it's got the same artwork on the back. But I mean, it's like a, I don't know, fish lizard thing. And they seem to be like hiding behind it. And these guys are hunting it. I have no idea. But I love it. Um, that's going to be cool. And then this, this these next two. Um, I've been wanting to read more John Brunner. So here's John Brunner, Bedlam Planet, with the wraparound cover too. You can see how it goes. The ship exploding on the front. Like I said about seeing a cover and knowing if it's going to be good or not. This looks amazing. And then this is one of his uh, more popular books, Catch a Falling Star. Um, this is probably going to be my next read after I finish what I'm reading now. But this is cool. This is an ace book too. Um, and then this is my current, as you can tell from the bookmark, my current reader. This is Ice World by Hal Clement. I'm really loving it so far. It's definitely a space opera, which is usually not my thing. But it's more of a, like a detective story, uh, which is really cool. I love detective stories. So that, I, I so far am recommending this. Like, I'm not even, you know, I'm a few chapters in. So we'll see how where it goes or, or if I like it or not. But I will... Um, obviously review this. I try to review everything that I read recently and put it up on the channel so you guys can know. So that was a nice quick little little haul video for you. And like I said, everything's gonna be up on Pango Books. It's gonna be the link down in the description. You guys have a great day. Read on, read a lot, read often. We'll see you next time on the Sci-Fi Bookery.